Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda. And I am so glad you joined us today. I'm also very excited that Tyson is with us. Tyson, thank you so much for being on the program today. Thank you for inviting me. Well, you're very welcome. Tell me, what, what are some of your favorite things you like to do? Um, play hockey. Play hockey. Mm-hmm. And why don't you tell the boys and girls watching, um, tell them what kind of, um, what's your what your favorite parts about hockey? Like, is that the only um, sport you like to play? Um, Do you like baseball uh, or soccer? Basketball. Basketball? Probably my second favorite. Basketball. Are you pretty good? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Mm-hmm. So tell me, what about, who's some of your best friends at school? Uh, I'm homeschooled, so, so my brother. Your, your brother? What's his name? Brandon. You want to say hi to him? Hi. <laughs> and do you have any friends that you know are watching anywhere? Do you have some relatives watching in uh, in Korea? Chani and Claire. You want to say hi to them? Hi. <laughs> well, you can say their names. Hi, Chani and Claire. <laughs> Good for you. Let's see. Let me turn this on here today so that we can get us going here. And um, I'm going to see if... Um, there we go. And, we turn, Brenda, and, and, and you so know what? This is this. need to turn that way off, don't we? <laughs> that, that is not good. So we have here, look, it is, so you have people saying hi to you. Who is that? My dad. So you want mm-hmm. to say hi to him? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> That's good. And then yes. guess who else is watching? My mom. Your mom. And who's over here? So we have Marjorie watching. And, um, and who's this? This, Johnny and Claire. Okay, so it says, um, and you said hi to them. So, mm-hmm. oh, and Anthony's watching now. And also says hi to me and to Miss Melissa. How are you doing? I want to thank you guys for joining us today. And I'm, t- I'm just chitting the chat here a little bit with Tyson because he told me first off, first thing, he loves to cook. I was really excited about that. How old are you? Ten. You're ten years old. Mm-hmm. And how long have you been cooking? Uh... I don't know. Um, couple of years? Yeah, a few years. A few years. What's mm-hmm. your favorite thing to cook? Pizza. Pizza? Do you make the crust and everything? Yeah. And mm-hmm. so, and what do you put on your pizza? Olives and artichokes. Ooh, that sounds good. Is it black olives or green olives? Black olives. Black olives. Have you ever had green olives? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. I love green olive pizza. And, um, you were telling me that there's a restaurant near here that you'd like to go to, and you have a special pizza you order. What, what do you like on that pizza? Um, cheese. I, go, go ahead and tell them. Cheese, basil, and tomato sauce. And I, I thought that was pretty awesome that you liked basil on your pizza. And that, that, did you like basil normally? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is that your, what's your favorite food to eat? Probably pizza. <laughs> I think you're a pretty typical 10-year-old. I think I ask most kids what their favorite food is, and they tell me pizza. They, 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 but, but you also told me you like something with your pizza. What, your, salad. Salad. So mm-hmm. I think as long as he balances that off with a good salad, I think he's good, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I think that's really good. Well, tell, why don't you tell everybody what we're fixing today? Um, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. And uh, we are, we're, we're glad we, you actually voted for this. We put four recipes out and um, you get to choose what um, what they are. And Melissa, are they posted? I want to say hi. Didn't let everyone know Melissa Hoffman is our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus. She's behind the camera uh, operating this to make sure this is going right now. And Melissa, um, uh, it has... Chose, she chooses that which four recipes every week, and then you guys get to vote on it. Are those available for voting right now? Um, I don't know if or next week. She said, um, no, I'll, not quite yet. Not yet, but here's what we're going to have for next week, so you can think about it before we start the program. Um, the theme is, what is the theme? Fall bake sale. Fall bake sale. And can t- tell them the four recipes they can choose from we don't know which one's going to win which four recipes say it nice and loud right into the camera so um pumpkin streusel cake Ooh, now that i know is good all these i created so i wouldn't give you something i didn't like but i love that one too gingerbread trifle Ooh, that's good too 
Pumpkin ginger snap cookies. And those are good too. And, and pumpkin donuts. Wow, that does sound like a fall bake sale, doesn't it? So, mm -hmm. what, what, of those four, what would you vote for? Probably the donuts. The donuts? Mm hmm. You are a typical kid, I'm going to tell you that, because I think most kids would say donuts too. But we'll see. We'll see which ones. We'll, we'll have to keep a watch on that. And after the program, make sure you go to our site and vote, okay, so you can choose which one you, what, which okay. one you want. And then mm -hmm. next week you'll be watching and you can tell. All right? All right, so for the chicken pot pie, I'm going to read the recipe, but um, you will, um, don't need to write it down if you don't want to, because it is on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. And Melissa already put it in the comments. And let me just see here. Uh, let's just talk. Let's say hi to a few more people that are joining us. So we have Elaine Riches joining us. Hey, you guys, tell me where you're from. I love to know where you're from. So let me know, okay? So tell me, Elaine, where you're from. And we have um, uh, Helene uh, is from Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. And you already know I like hearing from where you're from. So thank you so much for joining us. Rhonda Bernard is watching. And Sydney is watching. Hey, Sydney. And let's see, um, Jeanette is also watching. And, um, and so you're wanting, you're saying bring them on camera. So are you talking about Melissa and, um, and uh, Susie is, is his mom are, are here uh, in, my, in my home as well, the, behind the camera. And Susie actually is, um, Tyson's mom is going to come on afterwards and be a taste tester. So wouldn't that be fun? Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. if you want to write this down, go ahead, but you don't need to, just go to our website, kidsclubforjesus.org, and the recipes are not only there for chicken pot pie, but everything we've done. So it's all there. So you can go there and, and get those recipes. For this, you're going to need two tablespoons of better than bouillon, no chicken seasoning, six cups of water, one medium onion, two cups of carrots, one cup of celery, one teaspoon of dried parsley, two cups of soy curls or your favorite gluten product, one cup of frozen peas, two cups of potatoes. And then you, for, to thicken it, you'll need a slurry. That's three tablespoons of cold water and three tablespoons of cornstarch. So this is really going to be easy, folks. Now, this is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. So what we're going to do, uh, Tyson, is we're, I'm going to just have you put everything in this pot and once it's there, we're just going to take over and cook it for 20 to 30 minutes. When the vegetables are tender, that's when we will add our slurry. So why don't you go ahead, and these are our soy clip curls. These um, are particular. You want to hold these up in front of the camera for me over there? And Melissa will tell you how high to, to hold them up to show you what they are. And you can pick one up, go up a little higher and tilt it more. That's it. Perfect. Okay. And then why don't you take one out, Tyson, and uh, in your hand and show them how, how crunchy it is. You can even snap one in half in front of the camera. Put it up high. Tell them when, Melissa. Down a little bit. Down a little bit. There you go. All right. Snap it. See that? And it just snaps in two. All right. Why don't you put this in the pot? Uh, the reason I like the soy curls is because um, even people who are gluten intolerant, can have the soy curls. So um, you can go, put, go ahead and put those in there. And they don't have a very strong flavor, so they take on whatever flavor you give it, which I love that because then you're not constantly having to mask that flavor. So um, uh, we have some parsley. We can put some parsley in there. And let me um, drain these uh, potatoes out here. And you can put the potatoes in there, okay? You can, doesn't matter if they're wet, okay? okay? And I'll drain this out of here. And, oh, you know what we need? We need some stuff out of our refrigerator. Hold on just a second. I thought we were missing something. All right, you can put that in there. And let me get stuff out of the fridge here. Um, oh, we have to put our onions in here. You can open those up. And there we go. Yes, and that's a that's good to look and see like this. If you are going to store onions for, for a short amount of time, but don't store them wet overnight because onions go bad. They can they can go bad very quickly. A lot of people will slice an onion and they won't use all of it, so they just put it in a baggie and they put it in the in the refrigerator. First of all, that will stink up your refrigerator, and just putting it in a baggie. And also, it will go bad. You do not want to use it. You can get food poisoning from um, 
raw onions that have been left over. So if I don't use a whole onion, I will throw it out. But um, when you have, a, have onions, even when I throw out an onion or uh, the onion peels, if you um, take and peel your onion and put all the stuff in foil, or anytime you want to um, put, like I did for, I knew this was going to be just a short amount of time, cover it in foil, it will, it, will, it will not smell bad at all. You will not even smell onion in the refrigerator. So it's, the trick is the foil, but it has to be tight. You know, you have to be completely sealed. Could you smell the difference now without the foil? Yeah. It, even right now, I just took the foil off, and I haven't even taken the plastic off, and we can, whew, that's a strong onion, right? So you can go ahead and take the, the plastic off, and um, we will um, put the onions in there. And I'll take this plastic off. And, and then you can put your, and here's a um, spatula you can put in there. Okay. And then, um, yeah, that's a pretty neat trick to have about onions. Uh, sometimes people will use a used onion, like say in a, they make a potato salad and they put a, a leftover onion in it and they don't know why they're sick. They think it maybe was the mayo. Nine times time out of ten, it's going to be the it's going to be that raw onion that was left over. Okay, good job. And put there. And I'm going to put we're going to put six cups of water. And I can smell that onion from can you smell that onion over there, huh? Yeah, it is really strong. Whoops. Let me put this in here. Whew. <laughs> Susie, can you smell that onion over there? She smells it over there, and she's sitting on my couch. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have you turn my faucet on. You know how to do that? Just touch it, touch the top of that like you're smacking it. There you go. See there? Isn't that cool? Our sink does that, too. I love that, don't you? Because you can hit it. When it gets to this right here, you're going to hit it to turn it off. Because we're going to put... There you go. Good job. Good job. Okay, so here's... Here's four cups, and we need two cups more, so you want to turn that back on. And when it gets to here, we're going to turn it off. Perfect. Okay. And now you're going to also put this in. So you'll need your spatula. And that is our two tablespoons of no chicken, better than bouillon base. You can go ahead and, and scooch it all in there and um, mix it all up. Yep, that's good. And that's our seasoning, and that's all there is to it. We're going to let that come to a boil and then turn it down to simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until all the vegetables are tender. What if somebody can't find the better than bouillon? If you can't find the better than bouillon, use, you can use um, uh, McKay's chicken-style seasoning. You can use bouillon cubes. Uh, that there's, um, uh, or your favorite vegetarian chicken seasoning is, is fine. You can do that as well. And just season it to taste then? And season it to taste. You know, that's when you put the seasonings in and you take a little taste of it and go, mmm, nope, that's a little, little weak. I still need a little more. Do it till, I, till it tastes good. So let's see here. Let's see if I can help you with this because we're going to need every bit of that to, here we go. I'm going to scooch that off of there. Perfect. Boy, you're such a good helper, Tyson. So, do, I, do you um, play any musical instruments, or yeah, do you like um, to sing? I play piano. You play piano? I mean, um, violin. Violin? And piano? Yeah, sometimes piano. And what's but your favorite? Probably piano. Piano is your favorite? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to stir that up. Can you go ahead and stir that up a little bit? And then we're going to turn that on. And let that come to, I'm going to put a lid on it, and we'll just let that come to a boil. And then we're ready to make our, um, uh, we're ready to make our pastry that's going to go on it. Now, you can do a couple things with this as well. Sometimes I cook this up and put it into a casserole dish, and then I make some biscuits. And right before serving, I take those biscuits and I put it all over that hot, bubbly dish and serve it with chicken and biscuits. Oh, that's so good. And so um, my, it's kind of a toss-up whether my family likes the biscuits or the crust better because they like both. All right, so we're just going to put this right over here. And let me put this right here. And we will turn that on. You want to turn that on high? Turn it, turn it to the right. You just push it in and turn it like 
Yep, yeah. there you go. We'll keep it on the high for right now. We'll kind of keep watching it though, okay? Because we want it to stay on high. So now I'll come back over here and we're going to make up the crust. And so I'm going to get some. Oh, let me just share with you how you make the slurry. What you're going to do to make the slurry is that you're going to take this is cold water. It has to be cold water. If it's not cold, it will lump. And you take this cornstarch and you put in here and you just go. You want to go ahead and do that? And so we'll show them how to do it. We won't use the slurry yet because we have to cook. All those vegetables have to be tender and cooked before we use it. Um, let me get the almond milk out here. And... That's good. And when and whenever you have almond milk or soy milk, always just shake really good first, okay? Because it, it will settle and uh, you'll wonder why, wow, that is really weak almond milk. That's because you didn't shake it good. Okay? So, yep, just go ahead and keep on and stir it and stir it. And we'll probably stir it again before we put it into the vegetables, okay? That looks good. All right, I'm going to put some gloves on here because I like gloves. I like keeping things clean. Let's, can you show, show it what, what you did? This just turned into just liquid. And I'm gonna put it over here and it'll be ready for us when we're, re when we're ready to do that. Okay, so to do this part of it, let me get a, um, we're gonna need three tablespoons of, um, we're gonna need three tablespoons of the almond milk. And you're gonna hold this over here. And I'm generous with my almond milk, okay? So let's set, set this over here. We gotta put our salt in here. You wanna put the salt in there for me? And then just kind of fluff that salt in there. Make, combine it really nice and, and uh, till it's nice and combined. Yep, all over. Good job, Tyson. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now you can hold this. This is a tablespoon. And we we'll, let's move it out of the way so they can see. Hold it over here like this. And I'm going to be very generous. Generous. Sometimes a little bit comes over the side, and that's hold it even. And that's okay. So I'm going to go one and t dump it. And then we get two and dump it. And then three and dump it. Okay? Now... That's our three. So now you're going to take, good job. And now you're going to take this fork and you're going to go like this. And just keep doing that until it's all combined. You don't see any separation at all between the oil and the almond milk. Um, I used to, to use soy milk a lot, but any, t any of my recipes that call for soy milk, I, I have switched over to almond. I just love the flavor more. That's just my personal flavor. So if you have any of my cookbooks and you... Um, are thinking, you know what, I see soy milk in here, try it with almond. Um, it, it's okay with soy too, if that's your favorite. Um, and then let me get, um, let me get a spatula here. Let's see. And then uh, let me whip, that looks pretty good. Let me, you did good. Look at that. You want to just go like that in front of the camera, hold it so they can see what it, what we're talking about. It helps to find out what you're talking about. And let me see uh, who else has joined us just now. And uh, make sure you tell us that where you're from, okay? Um, and let's see, Dean and Sarah is wa watching us from Alaska and Martina from Tasmania. So good. You're watching us from there. And um, do you know this person? Uh, Do you know how they say their name? Ha Eun Kin. Ha Eun Kin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we also have Ber um, Bernice is watching. Bernice uh, Rosendez. And we have uh, Maeve. Um, I don't know how you say that. Uh, Atencia is watching. Where are you from, Maeve? And let's see. We have Jean is watching. And Tanya. My friend Tanya Gore is watching. Tanya, I love you, girl. Keep posting those pictures. I love it. Um, okay, and we have, um, um, and, and is that your dad? No. Who That's is? That's Tony and Claire's dad. Okay, he's got a message yeah. for you. What are you saying? Sir, talk more. <laughs> 
So, so you want to yeah, answer him? Okay. <laughs> okay. And Cindy Morgan, hello, Cindy. How are you? How, how are you? And is your grandson watching with you today? And uh, Cindy's out in California. I mean, in Colorado. We have Christina's watching, and Ashley. We want to say hi to you, and say hi to Donna Chambers. Yes, say hi. And my friend Lois, Dr. Lois Somerville's watching, and she's from Florida. And um, and Tanya Gory is from Australia. Let's see. And oh, we're just so excited. You guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. And I also want to encourage you to check out our website, Kids Club for Jesus. Uh, it's an incredible ministry that we've started uh, to really just provide Christ-centered programming for kids. And it's available for all children around the world, wherever you are. Go to kidsclubforjesus.org. And I'd also ask you to prayerfully consider how God would have you support our, our ministry. You know, in the middle of here of this COVID crisis that we're in, um, it's hitting everyone really hard, including ministries and our ministry too. We have five uh, full-time employees and it's, um, uh, it's, we're completely funded by donations. We are a 5013C corporation, so you can get a tax exempt um, uh, donation. And uh, so I just would ask that you would prayerfully, um, you know, pray about what God would have you do to help uh, so that we can continue doing what we're doing, okay? Uh, Isn't Cindy in, at Camposavo? No. Oh, Cindy Morgan, you're at Camposavo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I I totally missed messed that up. Um, you know who I'm thinking about? Yeah. Dan Hansen joins us every weekend from from Colorado. So uh, Dan, if you're watching, say hi. So yeah, I wouldn't do that to you, Cindy. Sorry, but you know what? That happens when you you know I'm a grandmother now, so you know I can blame that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to just put all of this. Well, let me get my um my gloves on and. And I also want to, just in case, sometimes I need a little bit more flour. So let's put this out here just in case I need a little more flour. Okay. I don't know if I will. Whoops. If my sink came on. That's the bad thing. When you touch the sink, it just comes on. <laughs> and um, the other night I had it on and I didn't, I touched it accidentally and, and it, it, I hit the real sprayer and it literally sprayed me everywhere. So... That was, that was good that I was alone for that moment. Because um, usually Melissa is there to witness it and, and have a good laugh. <laughs> all right, so will you dump this in here? We're going to just put a, I made a little well in the center and put it all in there, all at once. Just dump it all in there and scrape down the sides with this so you can get all, you can let go of this. Just take this and get all, every bit of moisture out there, okay? This is my flaky pie crust recipe. Uh, it is in uh, one of my cookbooks. I don't know which one, but it is on the website, the recipe for it. And it is an oil crust that is so easy to make. People that tell me they can't make pie crust make this recipe and say, wow, I can make pie crust. So let me just show you how easy it is. Um, at first, we're going to just, just really quickly toss it together, real quick. And... Let's see that like that. You want to do that real quick? Just toss it to keep tossing it together like that. Yes, good job. Keep that. Now, you don't want to mix. You want to toss. Okay. Now when you get this part, um, we I can see that we need a little more flour. So I'm going to do this. And then because you don't want to stir it, this is a, you want this to be really a tender, nice, tender crust. Mm -hmm. um, you, and you want to just add enough flour till it holds together. And so I'm going to put this like this so you guys can see, okay? Could you use wheat flour as a it's, We're wanting to know if you could use wheat flour. No, I wouldn't use wheat flour, but you could use whole wheat pastry flour, um, but not, not wheat. It'll, you, it'd be really coarse. I wouldn't recommend it at all. All right, so you can see this is nice dough right here, right? And it's nice and tender. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set this down right here, and I have a, I have this lovely little kitchen gadget that I really, really like a lot, and what you do is you just, I'm going to open it this way, you take this, and you pull it right over here, and you want to go like this really hard, and it cuts it, and I'm going to just move it over here and do the same thing. You want to, you want to take these and pull it over there and match that end over there. 
good job, right, perfect. And we just cut it right like that. And now I'm gonna take just a little bit of this flour and sprinkle on here, just a tiny bit. And we're gonna put our pie crust right here. And then we're going to pull this again and cover it, bring it down. And then I'm gonna also go over here and we're gonna do it again. Don't you just love this? This is called the Stretch Tight Wrap um, and Snap, 7,500. Yep, go ahead, good job, real hard, yep. And that's all there's to it. Then it just locks into place. This is one of my favorite gadgets I wouldn't part with in a kitchen. I love it. Now, you can do, do something. I have made a pot pie that you can do for your dinner. I'm gonna take these off now because I'm not gonna be handling the dough. And would you like to show this to the camera for me? Hold this and show it to him like this, okay? And Melissa will tell you where to hang that, to how high to put it up there. Um, good job. All right. You tell her when, how long to put it there. Okay, good job. All right, so I made, made one here in the castor. You can see what a size this is. Or to, right now, I'm going to um, make some in different sizes. I'm... You, you can make several little ones. So you can make them this size. I've got one this size and this size. And so we're gonna make some, some smaller ones, okay? Which means I'll probably make up a couple more crust recipes just so they are. So let's, let's, let's do one like this first, okay? Okay. And um, let me put these over here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna start rolling like this very gently and go each direction because you're going to want to put that into a circle, okay? Can you try that? Yes. Just light, nice and light. Good job, nice and light, good job. And just keep rolling, like sw switch around to try to keep it in the circle and you put a little more pressure in with that, Tyson. A little bit more pressure and you can do it, yep, keep. And you can bear down just when you, like just a little bit more so that you can move that dough. Can you see it moving? Yeah. Then go move it that way okay and you're just going to keep that circle going all the way around so it's nice and even all the way around yep and you can use this right here it'll help it roll see and just like you're trying to make that circle so go ahead with that then when you get it all rolled out we can make a nice little um, fancy design in the middle of it and it's ready to put on um, our our um, filling that we have. Let me just check this right here and turn this down just a little bit. And I'm and I think I can put a lid on it right here. Whew. That's it. so I'll turn it down and let it cook for a while. And it's not gonna be oh that looks good. Let's see. Let me feel it. Okay that feels nice and um, the right thickness. And if it's not perfectly round it doesn't matter because we're gonna cut it anyway. So that's mm -hmm. okay. But here's what you do, you're gonna, I, I like the plastic wrap because you can peel it off real nice and, and it doesn't um, stick to the paper. And what you can do is, what kind of design? Do you like to draw? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. You know, here is, are you an artist? No. No? Did you know that, that I'm an artist? All those paintings in the house are mine. But and I don't draw really well, but I can paint. I do oil paintings. But. You draw some a picture in here. You saw what I drew. I drew a flower yeah. in the other one. What would you like to draw? Um, a whale. Okay, draw a whale. But you but try to make him in this in, in the center. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Here we go. And let's see. Can they see up there, Melissa? Here is a whale coming up. All right. Good job. You like to swim in the ocean? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Good job. Wow. I'm impressed. Yep. You make, and that's his fins, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yep. And you can do this and you, it won't hurt to, you can put him back into place and mm -hmm. yeah. You want to give him an eyeball? Here, here's what you can do for an eyeball. Take a little bit of this and you roll it up like this, and I'll put his, his eye where you want him. Isn't that fun? That is really good. I'm so proud of you. Hey, buddy. 
All right. He's got a whale on this one. This one is going to be special. All right, we're going to cover this up right now because it's not ready. Our, our food has to cook for like 20 or 30 minutes, and then we'll thicken it, put it into the little dishes, and then we will put that crust over it. When we put that crust over it, then we're going to flute the edges. Do you know what flute the edges are, um, Tyson? You, when you put the crust in here, you, you bend it over so that you have a crust and then it's all flat. And then you take your finger and you put your finger in here, you twist. Then you go over to move your finger over to what you just did and twist again. Twist, 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 twist. And that's what's called fluting a pie crust. Isn't that good? Oh. Wasn't that easy to make? Guess what time it is. It's time to taste. Are you excited to know what this tastes like? Let me get a spoon out, and we'll have a couple of forks here for you. And, and this is for your mom. And we got a spoon right here, and let's have a couple plates. And uh, so, Susie, why don't you come on out to the, uh, and to the kitchen and um, be a taster, okay? Yay! Hey, Susie, thank you for coming. Okay, so I want to hold these plates for you, for me, and we'll make a, a let's see, a little, you want a little bite or a big bite? Medium. Medium. Is that medium? <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, you want to give your mom a fork and a plate? Thank you. Okay, and you want that same size or you want? Sure, that looks good. Okay, so you want to give that one to your mom. Yeah, because ladies first, and then we'll put one right here. Do you want one bigger than that? That's, that's good. That's good? Thank okay, you. now look right in that camera, and you can taste. Come on, Susie. Here we are. Drum roll. Here we go. You can have a taste and see what that's like. Oh, so good. Is that good? It's so good. What do you think, Tyson? It's really good. Yeah, I like it. And would you like to have that for dinner sometime? Oh, ops. yes. Mm. I'll take the whole... I'll take the whole... Um, take the whole dish, huh? <laughs> Well, I am so excited that you like it, and I think that you guys will like it too, and you saw how easy it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as that, the vegetables get tender, we, we put, stir the flurry in there, thicken it up, pour it in the pan, put our crust over it, bake it in the oven for 375 degrees for about 40, 45 minutes, or until the crust is nice and golden, mm -hmm. and it's ready to eat. And there's another thing you can do. If you don't want to bake this right now, okay. you can... Put your filling in, let it uh, cool, cool down a little bit, mm -hmm. to about room temperature. Put your pie crust on it and flute the edges so it's all ready to bake. And then cover it with plastic wrap and then cover it with foil because that also helps you not get freezer burn. Did you know that? So cover it nicely with foil, seal it tight, put it in your freezer, and it will be good in your freezer for, for at least three months. So that if you wanted to make your Sabbath dinner ahead of time for next week or whatever, you could just pull it out the night before, bake it that morning, and you're ready to go. It'll keep up to three months? Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. And you won't notice any difference at all. Oh, great. Yeah. It will bake really, really easy. And if you don't want to put the pie crust on it, you can freeze it without a crust mm -hmm. and then um, go ahead and take it out the night before you want to use it. It can put it in your refrigerator and let it thaw naturally if you want. And then make some biscuits and put those over the top and bring it to your table. Let me tell you, that is finger looking good. People are going to say, you know, wow, that is delicious. All right, does that sound good? Yeah, absolutely. All right, is there anything you want to say to all your friends that are watching right now, Tyson? Right in the camera. You want to say something to them? Thank you for watching. <laughs> well, that was a sweet thing to yeah. say. That was a very good thing to say. And you want to say goodbye to your brother as well and your dad? And Ari and Audrey? Bye. Yes. Well, you say their names so they, they know you're talking to them. Bye, Brandon, Audrey, and Aria. There you go. What? Okay, the poll is, is posted for next week. Okay, and the poll is, is posted again for next week. So that right now, as soon as we go off, you can go ahead and um, try to decide what you want us to fix next Wednesday. And we have a special guest going to be with us next week as well. And, um, again, I'll tell you those... Um, uh, those choices, you want to do this for the fall bake sale? What are the choices again, Tyson? Look right in that camera and, t and smile big and let's tell them what it is. Pumpkin streusel cake, gingerbread, gingerbread trifle, pumpkin ginger snap cookies, and pumpkin donuts. And pumpkin donuts. And you're, you're still going after the donuts, you think? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if we have anybody else that we want to say goodbye to. Um, let's see. 
Um, we have um, Marjorie is saying that she's from Colorado. Hello, Marjorie. And um, what did Marjorie say? Um, oh, she loves the cookbooks. Thank you so much. And then we have Austin. Do you know this guy? Is watching. Um, Do you? Oh yeah, he used to be our tennis, oh, our tennis coach. Yeah. Well, I want to mm -hmm. say hi to him. Hi. We well, got to say his name. Nobody else knows who it is. Hi, Austin. There you go. And Max Merkley, my friend, thank you for joining us. And we awesome. Uh, oh, look at Claire is 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 talking to you. Want to say hi to Claire? Hi, Claire. And she said you're doing a good job. And who is this right here? Uh, Liris Castillo is watching and saying hi. We, where are you from? And then we have, oh, Susie, somebody is saying hi to you. And she got right off that set. She got out of the kitchen. Uh, and Kelly is here watching. And um, Leslie Gwen is watching. And uh, Monica Flowers asking, oh, hello, Monica. She's asking if oil, olive oil can be used in place of canola oil. And the answer is no. Um, yes, it will work technically, but it will flavor your, if you like the flavor of olive oil, then I guess yes, but it really will give it a different, whole different flavor. And I think it interrupts the flavor of the, of the chicken pot pie filling as well. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, not, I really wouldn't recommend it. So we have, um, had such a wonderful time with you today. Thank you for joining us. And again, I want to encourage you to help support our ministry, kidsclubforjesus.org. Please go to our website. Check it out. I think you're going to love those programs. We also offer online Bible lessons that you can take as well as a daily devotion and many games, contests, some things you can do, nature nuggets. You're going to have a wonderful time. So tell your friends, your neighbors, and, um, and uh, ask them to go there, Kids Club for Jesus. Dot o -R -G. Well, that's all the time we have today. So until next time, remember, boys and girls, it's kids time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.